All right, today I'm gonna be sharing five different strategies or tips or methods or mindsets or whatever you wanna call it on uh, how to finish tracks and how to finish songs, projects that you've been working on and uh, overcome writer's block. I mean, this is the things that are ins that have inspired me and, and uh, have helped me. And I'm not saying that I'm an expert. I'm absolutely not an expert, but I feel like this could help some people. So first of all, you want to produce for the right reasons. Don't produce because you want money or you want something back from people. Genuinely share your art and your music. And, uh, and that means take breaks when you don't really want to or when you're not in the general mood to do work. Basically, the reason why is because you'll get discouraged and you'll seriously encounter some serious like serious ass writer's block, like some serious stuff. So remember next time that you produce, at least make it clear in your head that you're doing it for the hell of it and that you're not trying to make the perfect thing, you know? You wanna be able to get your ideas flowing. So that's the whole point of this. And remember that people will never like something because you wanted them to like it. They'll like it if they like it, you know, once you get into that mindset, making songs is going to be faster and easier and uh, you'll be able to finish some stuff. Build around or up from one single idea. So you want to choose a good sample or a chord progression or a beat or vo anything, vocal chop or melody that can become the backbone of your song and you build it off of that. No, this is what I'm trying to emphasize so that you're not all over the place. You choose something good and you make a decision to stick to that foundation. Yeah, random actions will achieve random results. Experimenting is good, but you can't Rel always rely on it. That's often why people get writer's block. People that don't usually get it are those that, that hear something in their head. They bring it into their DAW. They don't just play around. You got to be able to stop, hear something, and bring it into reality. That's really what music production is. Um, You want to limit your sound selection. Often less is more. You don't always need to have a ton of stuff in there. Just you don't add something just because it sounds good on its own and you just want to cram it in. You really want to stick to a theme, hear things in your head first. And uh, remember that sound design is important, but it's really overrated as well. So a strategy that will help you get move forward is to limit your selection. Fill up the, free, the full frequency range of your song. You can look at it. EQ or a spectrum analyzer and see the high end, the low end, and see which kind of frequency range is missing some, some elements. Don't stress too much over sound design, and a lot of people do. It's another reason why people get stuck. Limiting your sound selection will allow you to move forward and only make the small changes when you're mixing the song at the end. And mixing just makes a huge difference in take care of small imperfections then if an idea or a part of your song does not work then scrap it save it for later or something and just delete it don't be intimidated by that it feels bad to delete something but sometimes to move forward you need to take a few steps back and that doesn't make any sense it's a bad metaphor so you can finish songs often by deleting a part that you didn't know how to incorporate and then uh, keep the elements that work and then add them somewhere else and um, get rid of all the endless, the worthless fillers, different parts that just are repetitive and uh, don't 
worker that you just added really quickly just to make the song work and just cut it down shorter practice removing things man. don't be afraid to remove it because it looks bad like you're moving backwards sometimes that's the best way to move forward actually the final tip is to just take a break from production sometimes that's just the best thing to do when you've been working on something for a really long time sometimes it feels good to come back to something later and you are able to move forward and avoid looping things because no matter how good something initially sounds the more you loop it the worse and worse it's gonna sound move on it's like staring at the same question on a test at first it could it could potentially help you to look at that question and think about it but after a while it just becomes not helpful and you're just wasting time so you can come back to it later and that's exactly what you should do in some cases you should just take a break so anyways those were five strategies that helped me that I did not come up with I'm not I don't know everything but these are different uh, motivators for me and strategies that um, I keep in mind when I'm stuck and hopefully you learn something and uh, I appreciate your time if you watched it until this point right now and uh, thanks for watching <laughs>